Hope you're all having a fantastic start to the month of May. It's a magical time of year. Um, thought I would show you off a couple of things that I picked up at the book warehouse. Alfred Hitchcock presents 16 skeletons from my closet. 50 cents from Dell. Yeah, love that cover. Uh, Hitchcock was always superb at that sort of light-hearted horror fair. Um, this is interesting. It's got uh, Robert Block in it, obviously. Um, some well-known names on this little anthology of horror stories. Good stuff. More importantly, some nice edition here of Grimm's Fairy Tales. Lovely illustrations throughout. It's a gorgeous little book. How about Ghostly Tales by Henry James? I couldn't pass this one up. Uh, this is a uh, Franklin mystery. And it has the turn of the screw, naturally. Uh, Owen Wingrave, Sir Dominic Ferrand, the last of the Valeri. I don't know if you're familiar with Turn of the Screw, but uh, definitely a, just, a, just a great thriller. Great atmosphere throughout. Lovely tale. And a lovely volume to capture it in. And finally, I have this edition of Tales of Edgar Allan Poe. This one just was too gorgeous to pass up. Um, fascinating illustrations as well. Uh, very tight binding. It's, you know, this book was published in 79, uh, but it's in virtual mint condition. That leaves us with what we have coming up with uh, Horror Mayhem. As I stated, I am reading uh, some Jane Williamson, which you can see right back here. Um, and I'll be like looking at him as an author and his authored works, but more importantly, I have a wealth of correspondences between him and another author, uh, over the course of decades in, in which he discusses the art of writing, the art of publishing, It's just a great snapshot into the world of an author, a well-published author, somebody who was you know, very prolific, who had an important role in the Horror Writers Association. He was an editor, an anthologist, as well as an author of horror novels that really were a big part of the horror boom of the 80s so yeah definitely left his mark in that era and sadly is now largely forgotten so we're going to take a look at him so what are you reading for horror mayhem